On June 16, 2009, people in Port McNeil, BC watched as hundreds of juvenile wild pink salmon spilled onto the road during a transfer of live farmed Atlantic salmon from a boat to tanks on a truck. So on July 5th, biologist Alexander Morton visited the fish farm where the Atlantics originated. So we're at Potts Bay Fish Farm. Sure, it'd be nice to look inside these pens. Because when they dipped brood stock out of here last time, there was an awful lot of pinks came out with them. There she saw small fish inside the pens with the 10 kilogram farm salmon. Oop, there's one jumping. There's a dimpling there. One. These smaller fish could not be Atlantic salmon because at this size, Atlantic salmon must remain in fresh water. There's one. And again. Morton has spent nine years tracking and studying wild juvenile pink salmon. The smaller fish leaping and dimpling the water surface inside the pens on July 5th looked to her exactly like wild juvenile pink salmon. Today is July 14th, we're at the Port Peniel Dock and the Orca Warriors offloading food stock again. On July 14th, Morton watched another transfer of Atlantic salmon from this farm and pink salmon spilled out yet again. Morton is now working with a lawyer urging the Department of Fisheries and Oceans to examine this issue and press charges under the Federal Fisheries Act for unlawful possession of the endangered Area 12 mainland pink salmon stock. There has been no commercial salmon fishery in this area, also known as the Broughton Archipelago, since the fish farm sea lice epidemic began. Governments have spent millions on research and the Pacific Salmon Forum to try and halt the collapse of these wild salmon. And yet it would appear Broughton Pink Salmon continue to suffer at the hands of fish farmers.